there good morning I mean good afternoon or whatever time it is you know I just can't seem to I can't seem to make a video to save my life lately just seems that every time I start something goes wrong but anyway uh, maybe just a quick update on my life uh, yeah so I'm still at my kids place um the other day I went to that uh, apartment that is supposed to be like low-income apartments but the price was much higher than I was originally told and so I just had her dispose of my uh, she had a shredder she was gonna shred my uh, application and she did that and uh, I don't really know how my van is because I, I can't get through uh, to the people that are fixing it but um, yeah, <laughs> uh, eventually I'll see it again, I don't know when, meanwhile, um, you know, I do the best I can helping out with my grandson and whatever else things need doing around the house, and yeah, um, I just don't have a lot to talk about at this time because mostly my life is you know, domestic and uh, just around the house. I went on my trip to North Carolina and that was great and I enjoyed that and Bonnie would like me back and I was gonna go see Rachel but it's seeming to be kind of pricey. Um, I don't have a van so I can't drive there and we talked about my flying and the problem is, is spring break is coming and it's making it very difficult to find cabins at uh, state parks. Even tenting is all full up. So I guess uh, I don't know what I'm going to do at this point. I hate to have to postpone my trip to see Rachel again. Or maybe we'll just do a week in an Airbnb just so that I could visit with her. I really don't want to stay at her roommate's place because it's really his apartment and they're jammed in. She's trying to work her business out of his living room where she also sleeps and it's just been very hard. He's been very hard on her and uh, I don't want to add to that. I really don't. So yeah, just basically trying to find a way to see my Rachel. Meanwhile, everything's going good with the kids. Uh, the business has done very well, and uh, I don't know, just things are good. So that's a good thing. It's nice to be able to not worry about the price of groceries anymore or any of that sort of thing. Not that we're frivolous or anything, but. It's nice to be able to have meat and eggs in the fridge, even though the price of meat and eggs has just gone through the roof. So it reminds me a lot of the Gold Pro days when uh, my husband took the boys and they started buying gold and silver. And I remember going to the grocery stores and just feeling so elated. I didn't have to use my calculator anymore to stay within my budget. I bought whatever I felt we needed and the best that I could find and um, it was really awesome and it's good times again even while we're going into what appears to be some hard times uh, I, I'm seeing a lot of foreclosed homes when I go and I search in different states because you know Rachel and I were talking about getting a place together and for the first time in years there's actually foreclosed homes coming up and homes that are under a hundred thousand dollars and uh, that tells me that uh, things are a bit unbalanced in the economy but I'm not gonna <laughs> is everything okay yeah hang on a minute let me All pause this you Oops, I got off subject, but um, I just haven't been able to make any long videos because there's not a lot going on in my life except for what I do here, so yeah, um, it's just been much easier and 
I'm starting to get my money back from um, my son's business and uh, all of them are working together and nobody has to do Uber anymore and it's just really nice. I love listening to them work together, the three of them, when they do an auction. It just flows very nicely and very evenly and um, they offer really wonderful deals and they've just been doing a great job. And as a matter of fact, some YouTuber found them, not through me, and uh, mentioned them on their channel. And uh, I think they were going to try to find out who that was so they could thank them. So, uh, yeah, if you're, if you're interested in watching them work together, they usually start around, oh, tonight they're starting at 6, 6 p.m. Eastern Time. That's on the WhatNot app. And you have to sign up for that, and that means that, you know, you have to have a payment account and all that sort of thing. Um, I have one, and I've never bought anything on there. And they've got free giveaways, and you actually can get in on those whether you're buying or not. I highly recommend you take a look if, if you're too poor to buy, because I understand that. You might be able to win something in a giveaway. So it's the WhatNot app, and it's Simply Sterling USA. And that's my children, Mike and Maggie, and you'll see their little faces on the um, thumbnail. And um, yeah, they're doing excellent, and Mike's out buying today, and he does a lot of buying. He's doing a lot of selling, and Dennis is there with him, Dennis Jr., so it's two brothers and a, my daughter-in-law, and I'm really proud of them, and they're already looking at... Um, bringing other people in so that they can do more auctions. So that's the long and short of what's going on in my life right now. Everything's pretty mild-mannered and calm, and we just, you know, move along and do whatever. I'd love to go to the beach. I haven't found the time, but, you know, I'm a little scared of going alone to the beach with Finn. I'm not going to leave Finn behind uh, because I accidentally lost him at the trampoline park thing we were at. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, I, it would never happen again. It was uh, something stupid on my part, but he wasn't ever in danger. He was still in the area, but uh, he had just gone from one area to another, and I didn't realize that other area was there. It was just a real shit show. <laughs> it was not pleasant. I was scared, and I called Mike, and he was scared, and finally I found him. Uh, Finn, but um, so now I'm just a little on edge about you know that sort of thing Taking him along because he's fast. I've, I that kid is fast. So and he's high energy and he's always on the move um, But there are some better parks in the area where they're fenced in and I can take him and he can run around So, you know, we can do that. I still would love to go to the beach, but the weather's been really crappy. It's been humid uh, overcast, um, not, not a great start to February, but, uh, better days are coming. What? No, nothing. I said, I don't know about that. Man. You think there's been some good days? Yeah, but we well, never get to... I'm just, like, too busy to enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> too busy to enjoy it. Isn't that the truth? Finally, we've got the money. <laughs> oh, fun things that are coming up. Um, it looks like we're going to go on a family trip to Tennessee for Maggie and Finn's birthday. They're within like six days of each other in February. And uh, also, I will be going with my kids um, in May for the whole month up to the Massachusetts, New Hampshire area so they can buy at both Brimfield and Madison Bogueville, New York. So things are looking up and things have improved greatly. And um, I, I do believe I spoke about um, Wallace D. Waddle's book, The Science of Getting Rich. I don't make any money on this. Um, it's just, uh, it's worked for my son. And I'm really proud of both of them and Maggie. They're just really going to town. And uh, ah, something good to talk about. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Hey, I did nine minutes. That's pretty pretty good for me these days. And I'll let you go now. Bye. Happy Sunday. It is Sunday, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Good.
happy Sunday. Bye.